Well, here we are with part two of the trailer project. I obtained a, another sheet of plywood from a friend, donated a piece of plywood to me, and I decided I'm going to put a top on it. So the top consists of two by sixes. We have to do, use two by sixes in order to have enough surface area here for the plywood to, to bolt to and overlap into the uh, bed of the trailer. Uh, didn't really want to use two by sixes because of the weight, but that's really the best way to go. Put the plywood on the top of the two by sixes uh, because that way if it rains, then the water will just run off the top and it won't sit inside. If I was to put it underneath where it sits inside the trailer, then water would sit in there and just fill the trailer up this way you could maybe run a bead of caulk around the outside of it and uh, it won't fill up with water uh, cut 45s on the two by sixes here uh, i had to get 10 footers because this is an eight foot trailer and but it's mounted outside of the the frame so it's a little bit longer than four by eight. So you have to get a little longer studs in order to accommodate that top. End up getting two by six by tens. Just non-treated stuff. I've got some paint I'm gonna use on it um, that a friend gave as well. So I'm gonna seal it up with some primer paint, rust, some rust color paint eventually. As soon as I get to the finished product, I use four gate latches here. Uh, I, I took and drilled out the pins so that uh, from the behind there, you can drill the little pins. They're, they're stamped in there to keep the original pin in. And so I drilled the two stamps out and I removed the pins, removed the plastic inserts they had and just got some 5 16 five inch bolts uh, to use for pins. Put the two nuts on there so you can jam them together. Take those nuts off and take it off of all four of these hinges. And then I can remove the, the top as well. So if I don't want to use the top, I don't have to. Uh, it's got four hinges there. Uh, and that seems to be very sufficient. I plan on mounting my kayak uh, holder up here. That way, if I want to use the, the holder for the kayak and haul stuff inside, I can. So I plan on drilling the holes and making it where if I decide I want to haul a kayak with the top on it, I can. The other side here to hold it down I obtained these hasps that are lockable. Lockable hasps, pretty nice. Didn't know they made them like that. Really easy to use. And I found two that were key alike. So I put two hasps, lockable hasps on here to hold it down on this side and just to uh, keep it kind of secure. Just keep people, if they're going to want to get in there, they're going to get in there. But that keeps them from just lifting it and going after it. Um, this top is very heavy. Uh, got a three-quarter sheet plywood there and basically three two-by-tens or two-by-sixes that are ten foot long. And so my next thing to do is I'm going to get some of these little lockdown clamps that you can buy to further secure this while it's going down the road so it's not just relying on these two halves to hold it from flopping. Uh, probably just two of them. Probably don't need no more than that. Uh, and uh, maybe three. That Just to make sure when I put that kayak on there that it's secure. The other side should be plenty secure because it's got four uh, of the hinges on there with the 5 16 bolts holding it. should be fine. So I've got to get those lockdowns for this side. And then I've got to figure out next, how am I going to prop this thing open? Um, once you get it open, it's pretty heavy. 
you want to make sure it's safe that if you're going to get in and out of it and put stuff in and out of there then uh you don't want it falling down and hitting you on the head and breaking your back stuff like that so that'll be my next project uh, it does does flop open real easy it's pretty heavy i have to put my hand under it right here and that gives me a nice spot right there on either end i can just push it open and i can put put something and wedge it to keep the top open um, but i want something that's more permanent and easier to use and maybe automatic automatically pops open stays open just something that's more secure uh, and it will hold that thing open so that's it i haven't done any modifications other than that so this is part two the lid didn't really know that was going to be a part two but uh since i got the three-quarter plywood for free i decided well i'm going to spend the money on the hardware and the two by sixes and end up cost me about 60 bucks for the hardware and the two by sixes so I'm into it about another 60 bucks now. So we'll see where this goes. Stay tuned for part three if it is one. And it probably will be. But I'm almost done. And we'll see how she turns out in the end.